What is up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Charles. Charles and Israel. Hit that thumbs up button. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks for checking in. We are checking out uh, comedian Tony Baker's podcast as him and his crew weighs in on all the controversy that's been going on since the Cat Williams interview in the past couple six to seven days. Almost been, what, six days? I heard it's almost had 45 million views. Damn. Anyway, let's see what Tony has to say. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. You that nigga up to Ray? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now the piece oh, said Ricky no, said they switched their roles and that was not true. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. So, uh, but y'all know how I feel about it. I'm like, once there's lies mixed in with the truth, yeah, you, yeah, everything gets murky. Everything's murky from so that. So it's like, yeah. uh, everybody else because there's certain a... stuff that I knew that I know for a fact was a lie in there. Yeah, that I, you know what I mean. So yeah. I was like, I, I was there around and I saw that with my right. own eyes. So, yeah. but people Once also I, have their own like point of views of what happened, you know. And it was twenty years ago, also. Yeah, but you can't speak on just because it's a long time ago. You can't present it as facts. But your perspective is your perspective, and I'm glad. Like I'm glad I see you cleared it up because even Ricky Smiley might be like, you know, I might he might have said that like when you say it like that, didn't sure. Yeah, but his perspective, his perspective at the time might have been, <clears throat> that's how he felt. That's what he thought. He you probably know? felt like. I'm sure he was approached by Cuba and them. I want you to come Ricky read for Smiley. this. Yeah. Right. Come Yo, read we for want this. You to, right. We want you to come read for this role, right. Money Mike, we got going for Friday after next. And in his mind, he's like, oh, they want me to, yeah, right. Right. you know, they right. they wrote this for me. Mm. You know, which wasn't the case. They were still, like, looking. Right. And so. Possibly. And I then, mean, I'm just saying that's the way he could have took it. Right. Yeah. Which I'm like, I'm not mad at him if that's how. Right. You know, he might have said it and it might have came off wrong, but his his, his perspective. Like, I, feel I, mean, like, I don't think it was disrespectful, though. I, don't I, that's think so I feel like most of this stuff right. isn't a big deal. It's just niggas make it hot. They just make it an aggressive thing. And then, you know, people are messy and they love it. So right. they just it's ride all, with it. It's Can't all messiness. Like stupid dog. Yeah, his ticket sales yeah. went up 70%. <laughs> yep. They yeah. went up Dang. 70%. Yeah. Yeah. They did what Dang. it was supposed to do. Yeah. I knew yeah. that. Yeah. That was great marketing, bro. That that was wasn't, it wasn't doing what it was yeah. doing. People, it wasn't, people just. Nah. Nah. You, okay. weren't, you weren't really hearing about it. He, he's, he's, he's been torn for right. quite yeah, some time. We weren't hearing about it. I knew about it. I knew about it. I knew about the dark matter to it. Because even he said in the interview, he was just like, I don't have to do promo for my shows. People just show up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, because that moment hit me. I was right. like, that's the dream <laughs> for me. Right. It's to where I just got a tour right. and I don't have to be like, come to my city. Right. <laughs> 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 tonight, one of them out. We gotta, uh, I got to take it all the way to the finish line. Yeah. In wow. A certain city. So it's just like, man. So that moment. The thumbs up button, guys. And so now. Um, and I knew ticket sales was going to rise because it's crazy, but yeah. I never knew what the numbers were looking like before Ew. because you they could have been light, bro. I I don't know. The yeah. only way I would know is if I asked like Pretty Ricky or Takara so yeah. on, on a tour. Was, was it? And and you know, was this arena filled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, so now, I'm just like damn, it and will so, be now. Oh, it's oh, yeah. 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 hundred percent. I just wonder oh, yeah. if he's going to talk about that while. Now that That's what I'm curious about. I'm curious about how his shows are doing right now since this, this that interview went so big. Like, I mean, pretty much. I mean, everybody goes see Cat Williams shows, but I mean, for the majority, for the most part, it, he don't really have that Dave Chappelle audience. Like, I've been to a Dave Chappelle, um, recently to a, a Dave Chappelle concert or whatever, and uh, it'd be all kind of be mixture, black, white, Asian. You know what I'm saying? Cat, I went to Cat. I've seen Cat at the Forum one time, or it might have been at the Staples Center, and uh, he was still the huge cat. And it was filled for the people, but it, you had mostly mostly black folks in there. You had blacks, mostly you know blacks, you know Hispanic, you know, but mostly black. And you seen, I saw, you know, you saw a couple of Asian and white people sprinkled there. With this interview, I think Cat might start getting the Dave Chappelle audience. That everybody's coming. What y'all think? Leave it in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button. They hear more if he's yeah, gonna go probably not. It. He probably might. Probably not. He might. He might. Money already in the bag. Yeah, it, it, was it was a market. He got nothing to lose. Why not? But for what? That's what they point. came to hear. Well, he's super talented. Oh yeah, 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 he, he got, got it. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Very talented. And the thing, the, let me ask y'all this. And I asked people this on my stream last night while I was playing Call of Duty. <laughs> and for you in the chat's words, Call of Duty. was Friday after next your introduction to Cat Williams? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's when Money Mike started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when everybody's ringtone was Money Mike. I didn't know who he was. I, I was in the break. I came up in the bay. Well, seeing yeah, the- I didn't know who. Uh, 
Cat Williams was to after he did Money Micro. The Barry comedy scene? Yeah. And through my pops, I would see him with through Rodney Perry and them. Uh, they yeah. were bringing him there. Okay. Cat and Cat, 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 Cat. So I would see like little flyers and stuff. Okay. But I would say I didn't know <laughs> when when I seen him on Friday. I would I was I didn't I didn't put that together. Yeah. Like oh this is who they was talking. Oh about? you didn't know the same guy. Yeah I know the same okay. dude. Yeah because I never been to a. I knew Money show. Mike. Yeah. I didn't know Cat Williams yeah. at that time. Gotcha. I thought his name was Money Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It was either that or Wild and Out. No, sure. Wild and Out was, was way, way later. later. After? Yeah. yeah, way later. Yeah. Yeah. Because he had already did Pip Chronicles by the time Wild and Out came out. Some people saying Comic View was there. in Michigan. Yeah. I think uh, I'd stopped watching Comic View by then. Yeah, I turned yeah. my back on Comic View. Yeah, because it was just we all did. It, <laughs> it yeah. was just they were yeah. just doing it was too much. much. That stage, yeah. New Orleans, it was, it was, it was New the compilation. Yeah. There were women sitting on the stage yeah. in the background. The I'm looking at the women. Right. It was right. them it was just, blending people. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Comic View on BET was always. I never really got into that show. I love comedy shows, but I never really got into that stand up show on BET back in the day. Comic Comic View. Doing the same joke yeah. and starting it, then somebody else doing the middle, yeah. and someone else. And I was like, you had three comics do the same joke right. and nobody said nothing. You're right, and they would just blend that. They would just blend that into the compilation, like yeah. a DJ, like ah, yeah, <laughs> scratching the mix. They, 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 everybody did the same joke. Right. Put it all together. Right. And right. they had people in the kitchen. What's the name? And the yeah. kitchen set up. Like, what are y'all doing? Ray, 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 it was just a full yeah. production. I'm just like, all right, comic view. Yeah. It was always a kitchen laugh on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Get your laugh on. I'm like, I'm turning this shit on. <laughs> yeah. And so that's when they lost me. So probably when Cat Williams was killing on there, I probably right. already yeah. right. sailed into whatever I was watching. I, yeah, I don't even remember watching a set of his on Comic View. I, I've, never seen, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I didn't talk about Jamario. I'm like, I yeah, I remember. I remember Scruncho on there. Yeah. I remember, remember. Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. Hamburger. I remember, <coughs> remember Scruncho did this Kool-Aid. joke about. I'll never forget because me and my dad fell out because he did a joke about thug niggas taking <coughs> pictures at like J.C. Penney or whatever. Uh, but he did this one pose. Where he kept his face straight, but the pose was gay as hell. But man, <laughs> uh, we could not stop laughing. The way he looked, we could not stop laughing. Who was that? Scruncho. Oh, Scruncho. I bet people in LA knew about Cat because he For had sure. that room. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Hollywood Park Casino? He would host there. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. be- and I think that was before Friday. And they said that room yeah. was hot. Well, like, you know, when, once you see. Oh, damn. He that's he, he was at the. That's way before they redid. Uh, Hollywood Park Park Casino before they re, re, you know renovated it. It used to be hood back in the day. A comedian in a movie. Yeah. They, they you was know they already doing, yeah. The yeah, sure. they're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just all from Yeah, yeah. yeah. we just right. coming in. Like. Right. And he toured with Damon for a while too. Yeah. Oh, snap. and he okay. did Wife and Kids. Yeah, he did I do Wife and Kids. I wrote those two episodes. Of course, okay, yeah. Craig. Yeah. Don't talk your shit. Had my ear to the street. Craig, without dudes, hilarious. Come on, Bobby Shaw. But yeah, so so I miss a lot of Comic View yeah. people. Like when I think of Comic View, the people that come to mind for me: Cedric, Bruce, Bruce, Arnez J. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. those three. Some more, some more. Gary Owen, DL, DL, DL. I think of Def Jam, Quake. Yeah, yeah. Def Jam. I I, I think watched. DL used to host Comic View. At a yeah, time. yeah, probably yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I did. did. <laughs> but like. The Comic View comedians, it was like those three for me. Because I don't remember Cedric on Def Jam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was on there. But Arnez J, Cedric, Bruce Bruce, it was like, yeah. That made me think of Comic yeah. View. Yeah, they actually Quake. Get, yeah. Oh, oh, and uh, what's his name used to kill me on Comic View, too? Um, what's my man Bur- from Breaking Bad? Oh. oh. Lavelle uh, Crowe. Lavelle used oh, to yeah. kill yeah. me oh, on so yeah. Comic View. They actually got their careers off Comic View. Yeah. Oh, Comic View. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Is it was cool. a lot I feel like it's Def Jam then Comic View. Oh, in for terms sure. Of like yeah, platform touring, yep. comedians on, yeah, hundred mm-hmm. like, percent. The thing that the like, thing that bugs me the most about the whole Cat Williams drama, us uh, uh, drama <coughs> crap aside, is the audience. Oh my god. And they're and them being like, well, oh everybody. My. One thing I'm that's bugging me big time. They're like, everybody steals, and I'm like, no. No, the fuck. They, they don't understand how serious it is. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. Get, people get beat the, up. We're all in the comments. They're like, well, everybody borrows. Like, everybody knows. No, the fuck, we do not. Yeah. No, There's people that will show up to the club to see you perform it so they can beat your ass. Right. They don't know what they're talking about. That is right. They never know what they're talking about. Right. The average fan thinks it's okay. Sit this out, Tony. Fuck you. Yeah. Who said sit this out? The people. The comments. I'm telling you, it's wild. Really? The people, the comment sections of these things, 
they're talking with so much like Hold matter of fact. What do you say? They, 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 damn, they so, don't steal. So I miss a lot of Comic View yeah. people. Like when I think of Comic View, the people that come to mind for me: Cedric, Bruce, Bruce, Arnez J. Mm-hmm. Those three. Some more. Some more. Gary Owen. DL. 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 I think of Def Jam. Quake. Yeah. Def Jam. I. I, I think watched. DL used to host Comic View. At a yeah, time. yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I did. <laughs> but like the Comic View comedians, it was like those three for me because I don't remember Cedric on Def Jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Arnez J, Cedric, Bruce, Bruce it was like yeah. That made me think of comedy. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Quake. Get, yeah. Oh, oh, and uh, what's his name used to kill me on Comedy View too? Um, what's my man Bert from Breaking Bad? Oh, uh, Lavelle Crowe. Lavelle oh, used to yeah. kill yeah. me oh, on so yeah. Comedy yeah. They actually got their careers off Comedy View. Yeah. Oh, Comedy View, yeah. for sure. Is it was cool. a lot. I feel like it's Def Jam then Comedy View. Oh, in for terms sure. Of like yeah. platform Touring, yeah. comedians on. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Right. The, thing that, the like, thing that the thing that bugs me the most about the whole Cat Williams drama, us uh, uh, drama <coughs> crap aside, is the audience. Oh my god! And they're and them being like, well, oh everybody. One thing I'm that's bugging me big time. They're like, everybody steals, and I'm like, no, no, no the fuck, they, they don't. don't. They don't. They're they're like, they don't. No, they don't. Like, no, they don't. 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 To see you perform it so they can beat your ass. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is, they, they don't know what they're talking about. That is, that is yeah. They never know what they're talking right. about. The average fan thinks like, it's okay. This out, Tony. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Who said oh. such a who said this The people. The comments. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, cr- it's wild. Really? Wild, I, the people, comments the comment sections of these things, they're talking with so much, like, matter of fact, and they don't know shit. They don't know a damn thing. They don't know shit. And they talk, and they're so, and then the reason why I was saying, we were talking about in the group chat, why I was saying, like, I would never respond because it does not matter. Once somebody has, oh, once yeah. a fan goes into full fanatic yeah. and they're obsessed with this person, your people gonna ride with you and their people gonna ride with them and that's mm-hmm. just it. You ain't right. swaying nobody. You ain't gonna change nobody's mind. It's people who, let's say people came back at Cat with facts. Oh yeah. His fans wouldn't give a shit. No. They don't care. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, you lying. We don't believe you. Blah, blah. Yeah. And the other people's fans would be like, we rock with you. And yep. that's just what it is. That's and then people, people love drama so much they just want to believe anything anyway and right. ride with shit. Like, we all, we're around this. We know stuff. Mm-hmm. And they be talking like they know. And I'm like, I be watching certain comments. I'm like, y'all don't know shit. You don't know what happened in this situation. You don't know. What, what are you talking about? Even <laughs> to the fact of uh, the Cedric Cat joke mm-hmm. that they were battling about. Even if Cat did it on Comedy, comedy View the year before and said did it the year later on the Kings of Comedy Tour... He's probably been working. When people that don't joke know he worked these jokes for, for six, years. seven, eight years yeah. before he would do it in a comedy special. Mm-hmm. And that's what Cedric said. He's like, I had the joke. Yeah. But I know he didn't. I know for a fact he didn't. Well, not for a fact, but I know he didn't just do that that night. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I seen this last month. I'm a close yeah. with it. Yeah. Otherwise, that was Chris. <laughs> but, the, but, but the people in their minds, like, see, see, right. ain't nobody. Here's, here's what they're running with tough in the conversation. I'm going to tell y'all everything that they keep saying. Everybody responding, it must be true. Right, which doesn't make any sense. Ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody saying he lying. They always say that it was like it was a clip of Tiffany Haddish responding to Cat Williams that said she wasn't at the comedy store. She was at the Laugh Factory talking about Joe Tory, uh, Guy Tory's uh, documentary about Fat Tuesday. Mm-hmm. They got Tiffany on there. She was at the, the Laugh Factory. And Tiffany, there's a clip of her on stage, like, I was there. I was there, you know, I didn't, I was there on Black Nights or whatever. Yeah. And people in the comment section, like, see, Kat was telling the truth. I was like, no, she just, yeah, they don't care. Corrected. And I know for a fact, Tiffany was at the comedy store because I was on the same shows. Yeah, with and Tiffany her defense, Haddish. I would be at open at mic the comedy store. Comedy. They with also, Tiffany Haddish. They also right. don't understand Monday. that there's different rooms in the comedy store. So right. you may not be in the main room, right. but you may be in the belly room. Or you're not going to be on Big White Night. You're right. going yeah. you, to be on the Tripping on Tuesday, mm-hmm. Fat Tuesday, whatever. Crack them up Thursday. Crack yeah. them up. And so, but people don't know what they're talking they about. They don't then know I was what they're like, talking about. Like, Yo, stand up comedy is segregated. No, it's not. Why are you bringing race in there? It is. 
Can't win for losing, man. You can't make everybody happy, man. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Anyway, what y'all think about this video, man? Uh, Tony Baker, he's one of my favorite comedians, too. I just wanted to see, hear his perspective on what was going on. Uh, check out his podcast. Uh, Tony, I guess it's on his, his, his podcast is Tony Baker. Uh, this particular episode is called Daddy Issues. We back. So I guess he's back doing this. It's my first time. So I just subscribed to his channel. Mm, I'm sorry. And I hit the thumbs up button before I start the burping. So uh, go ahead and do the same thing. Support Tony Baker. Subscribe to his channel. And check out my channel, guys. Charles and Ed's World. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. And leave a comment. Appreciate it.